up, guys? How are you doing? I have like wicked fucking diarrhea right now. And apparently no inner monologue. I hate, I love, I love fucking coming here. I really do. I love this gig. Uh, but I fucking hate that it's 18 and over because I feel so, well, I'm 29, but I've got like 10 years on half the crowd. And I feel like, like all I'm gonna do is stand up here and bitch about my problems and you have no idea what like, you know, child support and herpes is like yet and fucking, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you have all your whole lives ahead of you to make all the mistakes that I've already made and then now telling you jokes about. It doesn't get funny, trust me. It just gets worse. Uh, anyway, so I got served a restraining order the other day. Uh, <laughs> No, it sucked. It's not. That's actually, that sucked ass. Um, I opened it up. Uh, it, it was from my baby mama, not, not my ex. It was this chick that I knocked up in an orgy. Um, but the DNA test, like I was the lucky winner of that swab, you know? So fucking, uh, so I'm on the hook. Um, so I get served this restraining order. I open this up. It says, Mike said, if I had sex with another guy while pregnant, he would hit or kick me in the stomach until I had a miscarriage. Right? Yeah. And, I mean, I said that, but that's not how I said it. Like, like when I said it, it was funny. I, it was, she, okay, all right. She was gonna go fuck some other guy, and like, I don't care, we weren't together, I don't give a shit. I was like, just go, you know, you wanna go be a whore, be a whore, go in the whore Olympics, just fucking kill the baby, you know what I mean? Like, don't, you, right? Doesn't that, shouldn't you, when you're carrying a child, like hang the badge up for nine months at least? You know what I mean? Like, just take a break. So I told her, I was like, just, you know, if you're gonna go be a whore, just, you know, have an abortion, that's all. Uh, Cause I don't, you know, I don't want to picture, like, I, mean, I was trying to get on board with this whole raising a kid thing, and I didn't want to picture my child coming into this world through like a AIDS laced, herpes infested, wart riddled birth canal, you know what I mean? Like. That's not the best first start in life. That's, that's not from there straight on to the Ivy League. You know what I mean? Like, uh, so, so I tell her that. I'm like, if you're gonna fuck around, just please have an abortion. And she goes, you can't make me have an abortion, Mike. I, I was like, well, I mean, you can. You can. Technically, I wasn't saying I was gonna do it. I was just saying, you know, you could hit you in the stomach until your shit is stillborn. I mean, it just, it's theoretically possible. I didn't say I was I, The judge didn't get my, I'll just treat your cunt like a pinata sense of humor. So, so I'll never know my child. Uh, see, that's where it gets sad. No, it's cool. I'm actually, I'm totally cool with that. I'm cool with not knowing my kid because I just fuck it up. I really, I, and she's, it's a little girl too, like, I'm okay with it actually, like the whole scenario is okay by the fact that she's a little girl because I've enjoyed young women with daddy issues for so many years that it's the least I can do to like make one and give it back to the world, you know what I mean? Like, lots of guys will thank me for that later. I've thanked a lot of absent dads. Just saying, I used to be really fat and the only way to get laid when you're really fat is crazy chicks or daddy issues. That's, that's the good way to go. Anyway, uh, that's not even a joke, that's true. Guys, listen, big guys, crazy chicks, daddy issues. Serious, you go for those two. Um, but no, like the only thing that sucks about not knowing my kid, because I'm a fucking, you know, drunken asshole, is I start thinking, wait, how does this impact me? And I realize I, I gotta like do the math when she's, you know, drinking age, because I don't wanna like be at a bar some night and I'm just being some old drunk fuck, you know, but I look over and there's some, you know, young, impressionable girl with daddy issues, right? Like fucking I that would because I'm just narcissistic sis, narcissistic. <laughs> I'm just narcissistic enough to look over at her and think there's something about that guy. I just, I, I don't know what it is, but she's turning me on. Like I have to hit on her and she'd go for it. Cause she'd be like, I don't know what there is about this guy, but it's something I've been longing for my whole life. Something that just has been missing. I don't know what it is. And that's scary shit. Cause then we have to move to Arkansas and that sucks. Hey, did you guys know that zebras actually, uh, they perform abortions, I swear to Christ. Zebras perform abortions through forced copulation as a means of population control in times of like famine and shit. Seriously, no shit. So, so that's what's black and white and red all over. <laughs> And 
with that, good night. You guys fucking rock. I'm Mike Long. Have fun. Mike Long.